G'day, it's Ben here from Solar and Sat, and today in our workshop we've got this Patriot Sunlander caravan. They're having some power issues, so we'll open it up and see what we can work out for them. So taking a look in here, we've got a 24 volt battery system with an inverter charger and regulator in one that's running it all. The plan here is we'll change over to a 12 volt system. This means there's less critical components for the power to run through before it gets to the inside of the van, less points of failure. And then in terms of the charging system, we're gonna go a separate regulator, separate charger, and a separate DC to DC. And that just gives you redundancy in the sense that if you ever had an issue on any one of them, you've got the other two to keep you going. After measuring up those two big Energive batteries, the big Energive inverter, the DC-DC, the charger, and the regulator, we found ourselves a little bit short on space at the back there. There's more room inside, so let's go take a look under the seat and see what we can make work. There's loads more space under this seat than there was at the back. If we can move the power system and the batteries here, it'll also help with their overall weight distribution, having the weight over the axles rather than on the back of the van. What I'll actually do is I'll hand it over to my mate Adam, who's done heaps of Sunlanders now, and he'll know exactly how to go about it. Can't wait till that aircon runs in here, it's getting hot. Thanks Ben, I'll finish the install, we'll go and take a run through the components now. In this compartment here we've got the Enerdrive inverter to run the customer's kettle, toaster, microwave and air conditioner. We've got the 60 amp 240 volt charger which will split 30 amps between the two 200 amp hour VTEC lithium. We've got the DC to DC which will come straight from the vehicle's alternator and the 100-50 solar regulator which does the three 170 watt solar panels. Overall protection of the unit, we've got five Enerdrive circuit breakers here. So we've also run a heavy duty line straight from all these components here, all the way to under the lounge, which is where we've installed the batteries. Nice and heavy fuse, heavy wire. So let's go and have a look. Okay, so under the lounge, we've installed the two 200 amp hour VTEC lithium batteries. On that heavy duty cable that we've run from that compartment, we've got a pretty easy, simple install under here. We've also fused it. Under here we've installed the two 200 amp hour VTEC lithiums and all the power points are hooked up to 240 so the customer can run any appliance they need to in the caravan. Cheers Adam, you've done a very tidy install as always. These larger systems where you can run your air cons, your microwaves, your toasters, all those comforts you normally have at home are becoming more and more popular these days. This is the first time we've felt confident that someone's done a good job. <laughs> <laughs> we like how it's done so professionally. And it really looks good, it's neat, it's tidy. Surprised we'll have any more travel at all. Whereabouts did you guys come from to, to get to us? Elbury in southern New South Wales. Oh, so we've come a long, long way. Thank you very, thank very you. much. We, we can't thank you enough. Whether you're after a system just like this one, smaller or larger, give us a call at Solar and Sat and we'll get you sorted. <laughs>